the lesser rule will not be mandatory and will not be dispositive. What matters is that because of the urgency and the constitutional sin involved, did he get an effective chance or not? If he gets an effective chance in three days or two days, it is enough. It's reasonable opportunity. This also sets the record straight because it is not as if Yadurappa is ruling. It has been distinguished and in fact, in that sense, not followed by a three judge bench. Kindly see this in the judgments compilation. Just the last one will suffice for us. This is all based on alacrity. Two days, three days, urgency. Of course, even when it's 10 days may not be effective. I'm traveling in Iceland and I get eight days notice. I may not be able to. And I am always right there, I know everything is happening, then two days is enough also. So, 109 it starts, the relevant is only 112, but let me just read 109. May I read? Yes. At page 1292. My lord, you got it? Yes. The petitioners contend that the principles of natural justice were breached when the speaker provided for a three day notice in derogation of 73B of the Karnataka so and so rules wherein a seven-day period is prescribed. On the contrary, the respondents have emphatically stressed on the fact that there was an adequate opportunity given to the disqualified members to make out their case before the speaker. So look at the rival contentions, counting the days in a sterile manner and the actual malice, effectiveness of the opportunity or adequate opportunity given. That was the rival contention. Principle of natural justice can be reduced to the straight jacket formula. The yardstick of judging the compliance of natural justice depends on facts in each case. In Das, it is well established, then they quote Das first. This court in Kyoto held that speaker decides the question as to disqualification adjudicatory disposition. This view received further elaboration by this court in Ravinaya, an order of an authority exercising judicial or quasi-judicial functions passed in violation of principle natural justice is procedurally ultraviaries, therefore suffers from a jurisdictional error. That is the reason why in spite of the finality, finality imparted to the decision of the speaker chairman by 6-1, such decision is subject to judicial review on the ground of non-compliance with the of natural justice. But while applying the principle of natural justice must be borne in mind, they are not immutable but flexible, they are not cast in a rigid mold, cannot be put in a legal straitjacket. Whether requirements of natural justice have been complied with or not has to be considered in the context of the facts and circumstances. At this point, the petitioners have placed reliance on Yedurappa. This is the rival view and argued that in that case, this court had struck down the disqualification order solely on the basis of the fact that only three days notice was given to the members. Now the three years bench leans in favor of Ravi Nayak. However, it is relevant to point out that Ravi Nayak's case a disqualification order wherein the speaker had granted two days notice to the members was upheld. The question is therefore not the number of days that were given by the speaker for answering the show cause, rather to see whether an effective opportunity of hearing was provided. This brings us to the point already reiterated and not a straitjacket format. So, Malas, this is the overwhelming alacrity fed into all judgments of 10th schedule because of the overall object. And one last thing here, Malas, alacrity. Uh, there is a judgment of your Lord Shibras from Maharashtra, I believe. Jalmi from Maharashtra. Jalmi versus Speaker. 1993 to SCC 703. PDF 168. PDF version. Same compilation, PDF 168. 93? 93. 1993 to SCC 703. There is no indication in Brandaban Naya 65 that the delay in raising the question of disqualification provides justification for refusing to decide the same. And the emphasis really is on a prompt decision by the competent authority on the question being raised, since it is not in the interest of the constituency which such a member represents to delay the decision. It's the other way around. One of my friends argued that yes. the constitution will become vacant. On the other way around, the cloud should be decided this way or that way. This decision is an indication the authority competent to decide must act promptly in deciding the same. Once it is raised even by a citizen in order to prevent a disqualified member from representing the constituency after incurring disqualification subsequent to his election, so long the question remains a live issue during the tenure of the member. This is dealt with. I am aware this is on general promptness. I am not on the case today. It's on general promptness. Now, Malus, two more things that I am done. Two more things that I have done. One is, Malus, Mr. Uh, I believe Mr. Marinder Singh read Shivra Chauhan or, or, or Mr. Jethalani. That I am not getting into, Malus. There are 
two delightful paras there which are directly in my favor. Shivraj Chauhan, which I had the privilege of arguing before a bench of which my Lord the Chief Justice was a member, was a reverse case on facts. But your Lordship accepts today's principle in the very para my learned friend has read. Can you turn to that for a minute? PDF 1390, para 80. The principle your Lordship accepts, but the converse set of facts, it applies in the reverse. Mm. Judges have given up their lunch, you can wait until yeah. <laughs> now. Now, we are not saying anything. Yeah? Well, I am replying to Mr. Manindar saying, Willis, Don't. if your Lordship is gracious enough to give up your lunch, Willis, we can all wait for 5 7 minutes more. Willis. Don't keep on doing well, it's para 80, 80 is what my learned friend read. I'll read only my two portions selectively. Placitum B to C and Placitum E to F. Can you note that in the same para? Para 80. Yes. And can you underline those lines? But when you focus on the line, it becomes clear. Malus, what is the? This is on the non conflation the core point that you must keep them apart. Code versus a separate part of the constitution. I'm reading from B, Placitum. The holding of a trust vote operates in a distinct field from the issue as to whether one or more individual members of the assembly have embarked upon a voluntary act of resignation or have incurred the wrath of the 10th schedule. Holding a trust vote is necessary to ascertain whether the council of ministers headed by the chief minister has the confidence of the house. Then your lordship goes on, the continuous existence of that confidence is crucial. So that is one category your lordship says. Now see below, E, E placitum, two lines below E. Neither the governor nor for that matter the court can entrench upon the power of the speaker. But the pendency of the proceedings before the speaker cannot be a valid basis to not have the confidence of the house in the government determined by convening of a flow test. I am not saying your lordship is dealing with this context, but your lordship schematically and conceptually separates the two categories. One is the well, it's floor of the house, the other is the tenth schedule. Neither the and Malus, just to end Malus in a minute, that word sitting goes along with the word while. While was mentioned by him, sitting I had mentioned in my opening. 181 uses the crucial word sitting. Now, whereas in parliament or in assemblies, sitting is on that day, that moment. It's not session, it's not intercession. That's a separate word used. Or well, days when there are no sittings, which are intercession days. Sitting means an actual sitting of the house. So notified. When the attendance registers are open for the members to get their daily allowance of 1500 rupees. Therefore, well, that sitting word with why read together makes it crystal clear that the speaker is activated or disabled for that sitting when that removal will have relevance. Why that removal in that sitting? Well, it's, uh, can I give you Lordships, uh, this one issue I formulated, the core issue of conflating or not conflating. But if your Lordship would want, well, I can give a one pager on the issues by today evening. Sir, you can give us uh, one but just pager. Note just this and answer this also. There's a little yes. contra judgment which has taken a different view, 2012 to SCC 708. Just get it from here. Could I guess on yeah. that? Yeah. No, I have another on That 21st issue of the letter not being pointed out, since I was there, could I just indicate because that came in the rejoinder. Just that and Nike, I'll take two minutes. If you lot of it. Well, it's, as far as Nike, which is now being cited in rejoinder, 708. my learned friend is wrong because Nike was a case where the MLAs went and met the governor. Okay. There were yes. four Get videos taken. And after that, the court said that there are videos of you meeting the governor and withdrawing support, where is the question of more than two days notice. We are not talking about withdrawing support. We are talking about that you are no longer the leader within the party. Anyway, there is a faction which is in a majority within the party. So there is no defection. The Secondly, my lords on suppression, with great respect, my lord, my learned friend is not being right at all. 21st, firstly, no one said it in the opening, but then he pointed out as an officer of the court. 21st of June, a notice is issued on page 49. On 22nd of June, a hard copy of the same notice is received, signed by 34 MLAs. 
my learned friend refers to an email of 24th of June, which is replied to by saying that this is from a unverified account and we are rejecting and that very email reply of the speaker says, I've met Mr. Chaudhary, I've met Mr. Prabhu and I'm satisfied with what they're doing. And my learned friend comes and says that we've suppressed Dr. Dhawan on behalf of the deputy speaker was present in court. He pointed this out or attempted to bring this to the notice of the court to say that we have rejected it. And there the court said, Mr. Dhawan, 34 MLAs have signed it. And you are saying that right. it's signed it. Let me, let me end. My learned friend talks about suppression. Okay. That's all. Let me now end, fellas. Yes. By one para of Jagjit Singh and one answer to my Lord's query. No, no, just have a look at it. No, no, I must answer it. Take two minutes only. Your Lordship is rising. I don't want to take your Lordship. Sir. Jagjit Singh, Jagjit Singh case is very important. Just Jagjit both fellas in your Lordship, same compilation at PDF. One second. At 866, actually 865 bottom and on to 866. Jagjit Singh. In the same compilation is Jagjit Singh. It's a constitution bench. No, sorry, three judges. Three judges. Constitution bench. One minute. Jagjit Singh. Oh, Jagjit Singh needs a constitution. Yeah. 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 Rajendra Singh Rana. Rajendra Singh. No, no, no. My, my apologies. It's called Rajendra Singh Rana. That's a constitution bench. Rajendra Singh Rana, not Jagjit Singh. Not Jagjit Singh Rana. Jagjit Singh. This Rana, we just read, Bullis. So, 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 we'll turn to this 866. On the alacrity point, which I was on. Just two, two minutes, moment, I just finished. No, no, we get the point. I mean, that's have a look no, no, because yeah. for completion, I have given you. Yes, yes. Not for you. No, what, is the the page of Singh what, is, answer, what is the page? Page 866, continuation of para 45. Yesterday, you should cite it. Yeah, it was cited, yes. Correct. Now, this part was not read, perhaps. Just see para, seven lines above para, para 46. Para 45. In para 45, seven lines above para 46 at page 866. Yes. Considering that if the 13 members are found to be disqualified, their continuance in the assembly, even for a day, would be illegal and unconstitutional, and their office as ministers would also be illegal, at least after the expiry of six months from the date of their taking charge. We think as a court is bound to protect the constitution and its values and the principle of democracy, basic feature, this court has to take a decision one way or the other on the question of disqualification. Of the Thank you. And well, the judgment my Lord just handed. That's Yadurappa. That's Yadurappa. And Yadurappa is well, my learned friend. Even as uh, well, uh, even as you that your Lordship argued that even assuming it says. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what was the lot of contention with the paragraph 53? Not my contention. No, no, no. I'm saying it was directly relevant.